Welcome back everyone, this video will be a bit different since I'll be introducing a Windows software for the first time. It's HiPDF from Wondershare. Wondershare reached out to me to test it and give you guys my feedback and I think it is worth checking for those continuously working with PDFs and documents generally. So I'll walk you through HiPDF features with live examples on how it works. Originally, HiPDF is an online PDF management tool that I have been using constantly in the past two months. It helps with pretty much anything you want to do with PDF files from compressing, combining page, signing PDFs, converting to other files formats or also editing PDFs online. Now Wondershare released the desktop version for Windows and it's worth mentioning because for those working with a lot of files, a standalone desktop version is very convenient, especially if you need offline access. The installation procedure is pretty straightforward. You can follow the link in the description and also get a 60% off of your subscription. That's an awesome deal I got from Wondershare. So after simply downloading and installing the desktop version, you'll have this simple clean interface from which you can freely work offline. So here are the available features. You can convert PDFs to plenty of other file formats here. You can drag and drop your file, select the output format, the output directory and hit the convert button. Couple seconds are enough to get your new file. The result is well organized, images are at the right places and there is no text and image disorder or weird merging in the output. That's a common conversion issue that seems to be very well handled by high PDF. The trick you can use on top of this is batch processing files, which means you can add multiple files to the queue and convert them all with one click. Of course you can do it the other way around and convert other file formats like images, words, powerpoints and text to PDF files. So besides converting files, the next option allows you for PDF encryption, aka adding password protection to your file. The procedure is easily done. Just add your file, choose a custom password here and click encrypt. And there you go. The next time someone wants to open that file, he will get this message asking for a password. The next thing you can do is to compress PDFs. This is a feature I use a lot when I need to send an email, but files exceed the allowed size. So you just add your file from here, choose the compressing level from high to medium to low and click compress. It is hard to tell the quality difference between the original and the compressed file, so I think that's good. You can also merge PDF files in a single document with this option, just select the files you want to merge. Click merge and get your output in a single file. And the last feature I want to talk about is OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. Now clicking on it takes you to the online version, but it will be coming soon to high PDF desktop. This feature is useful when you have a scanned PDF that you cannot edit or extract the text, because it is simply considered as an image. OCR will use character recognition algorithm to convert your scan to the output of your choice, like word or text files that you can freely edit. Like you can see here, the outputted document is very clear and easily editable. So here is the bottom line. My experience with HiPDF was pretty positive and I can easily recommend it for everyone that constantly works with PDFs and generally digital files. This desktop version comes with the basic features you need for offline work, with other features coming soon. While the online version has some extra options and flexibility like signing and unlocking PDFs. If you click the link below, you can get both the online and desktop versions at 50% off, or get the online version only at 60% off, or even try it for free. It's your choice. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more software coverage, leave a thumbs up if you liked this video, thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.